Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The City HKUSD International Case Competition 2015 Award Presentation Ceremony is about to begin. Please be seated. It's very nice seeing you all again today. Just in case you guys don't recognize us, I'm Darren. And I'm Brittany. We're both from HKUSD Business School. We're very delighted to be the MCs today. On behalf of the co-organizer and sponsor City and the co-organizer HKUSD Business School, we would like to welcome you all to join this award presentation ceremony. Today, we're very honored to have Mr. Frank Chan, Group Executive Director and Chief Financial Officer, and Mr. Stephen Potwell, Group Executive Director and President of Strategic Planning, Brofum Tektronics Industries Co. Limited, the case company with us. Thank you, Frank and Stefan, for your support to the competition this year. Thank you. Also with us today, we have Mr. Weber Lowe, City Country Officer and Chief Executive Officer, Hong Kong and Macau. <laughs> Professor Tam Kar Yen, Associate Provost and Dean of Students, Office of the Dean of Students, HKUST. <laughs> and Ms. Pandora Eep. Chief Commercial Officer, Hong Kong Economic Journal, our media partner for CICC 2015. We would also like to thank all of our judges for the final round again. They have spent the whole afternoon listening to our presentations and asking inspiring questions. They are uh, Mr. Frank Chen, Group Executive Director and Chief Financial Officer, TTI. Mr. Stephen Podwell, Group Executive Director and President of Strategic Planning, TTI. Ms. Susanna Wong, Head of Hong Kong Corporate Banking City. Mr. Roger Lim, Director and Hong Kong Sales Head, Treasure and Trade Solutions, City. Ms. Pandora Eep, Chief Commercial Officer, Hong Kong Economic Journal. Mr. John Gott, Senior Corporate Director, Da Cheng Hong Holdings Limited. Mr. Jonathan DePorter, Director, Accenture. Thank you, judges. I know that all the teams had a very busy schedule in the past couple of days. They had a chance to listen to a corporate presentation of the case company, TTI. They also attended the welcome luncheon hosted by HKUST Business School. And of course, they worked really, really hard on the cases and gave us all these memorable presentations early in the afternoon. To ensure the anonymity of the teams and the impartiality of the judges, every finalist team was recognized by a team code for the presentation this afternoon. Let us now reveal our finalists. They are... Team one is represented by Queen's University. Team two is Korea University. Team three is Shantou University. And lastly, team four is Nanyang Technological University. Let's all give them a big hand. Darren, it has been a tough week for the team, but they still managed to pull off their presentations with flying colors. And I believe they're all very excited to hear the results. I can't agree more with you, Brittany. But before we announce the winner of today, let's first invite Professor Tam Ka Yan, Associate Provost and Dean of Students, Office of the Dean of Students, to give us a warm welcome. Professor Tam, please. Uh, Mr. Lowe, Mr. Chan, Mr. Putwill, uh, judges, uh, team members, advisors, uh, students, gay, and also gay uh, staff of uh, SBM of HKUST. Uh, welcome, and uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, I, it's my great honor, actually, okay, to be here okay, uh, to join this uh, ceremony. Uh, I understand that this is the, uh, the 13 case competition that uh, we okay, collaborate with uh, Citigroup. Uh, it's a signature event of the business school. And uh, I understand okay, there are 18 teams okay, that invite to Hong Kong this year uh, from 10 countries altogether. And there are five new teams 
uh, if I remember correctly, okay, uh, from Indiana, yeah, from the United States, Korea University, uh, NTU from Singapore, the Norwegian School of Economics, and uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> from Canada, okay, Queen's University, okay. So getting old, okay, uh, losing my memory this way, okay. So welcome you all. Uh, the case competition actually is not just the HKUST event. Uh, it's uh, more like an opportunity okay, for uh, st students, uh, top students from top business school okay, all around the world to come to Hong Kong uh, to exchange will, to interact with each other. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to uh, thank, okay, in particular, okay, Citigroup uh, for their continued support. Uh, the whole event actually started okay, uh, around 2000 uh, after I led uh, a team to attend a case competition in, uh, in the in USC. And after I came back okay, uh, a few months, uh, there was a delegation from, uh, from New York, uh, which is the Citigroup okay, Foundation. And I took a picture at the USC competition. Okay, I, I plan to show okay, to you all here, but uh, somehow okay, there's no projector anyway. Uh, I showed them this just little one photograph, okay, which like what you have here, okay, a group photograph of all the participants, and I share this idea, okay, with uh, with City Foundation and say, perhaps we should organize one here in Asia, okay, in Hong Kong, okay, it's a good location, and that idea, okay, catch the attention of the foundation, and a few months later we signed an agreement and we launched this uh, very successful case competition. So uh, uh, that's a little history about okay, uh, the event. Uh, now, for the case competition, a very important element is the case. Okay? This is the center of the competition. And it's always a challenge okay, to find uh, a company okay, with uh, high reputation, global operation, okay, and present a very, very unique business scenario for the students okay, to, uh, to uh, investigate. So this year, uh, we are very fortunate okay, to have okay, uh, Tetronic Electronics, uh, Tetronic Industries, okay, to be our case partner. Uh, I did not have a chance to read the case myself because okay, it was kept okay, confidential okay, until yesterday. Okay? I didn't even know the, uh, uh, the case company okay, until yesterday. So, uh, so rest assured, okay, all the, uh, the teams, uh, this is uh, done very professionally. Okay? Uh, nothing's leaked okay, outside okay, of, uh, of the case uh, organizers. <clears throat> so thank you again, okay, Mr. Mr. Chan, Mr. Will. Okay, uh, you have been uh, very, very supportive okay, to this event. So uh, I would like to uh, uh, again okay, uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, City, okay, uh, Tetronics, uh, the judges, <coughs> advisors, teams, okay, and also our uh, student organizers. Okay, without the support, okay, uh, we cannot okay, organize this event. Uh, I understand all the active teams. Okay, they are very okay, anxious, work very hard okay, over the last few days. Uh, my recommendation to you is, okay, after today, okay, you know the results, uh, spend some time to tour around Hong Kong before okay, you uh, go back home, especially those okay, who are from abroad. Okay. Uh, enjoy the uh, beautiful city, and hopefully okay, you bring back uh, good memories about Hong Kong. And when you graduate, consider coming back to Hong Kong okay, to start your career. <laughs> we have a lot of opportunities and great companies. And we have two great companies okay, tonight. Okay, you all know about it. Okay? So with that, uh, thank you and enjoy the evening. Thank you, Professor Tam. Please be seated. Now may I invite Mr. Weber Lo, City Country Officer and CEO, Hong Kong and Macau, on stage to share a few words with us. Let's welcome Weber. Hi, good evening. I have a long speech. <laughs> but uh, this is the program I come every year, so I know exactly what I need to say. <laughs> Welcome again. Uh, thank you, Professor Tam, Frank, Stefan. Really delighted to be here again. Every year I told the, the team after tonight, 
you can enjoy yourself. After four days, hard work, uh, I still remember I met you in the HKUST office in Central on Monday lunch. At that time, you guys are very energetic, uh, looking around and look at the sea view. And I just mentioned to you that maybe you spend some time in a dine and wine uh, over the weekend. Uh, but it was amazing today when I see you again. You are still very energetic. <laughs> I thought you lost a lot of sleep uh, in the last few days. Uh, but uh, really, uh, you know, uh, your age can tell the story. Uh, I can't do that. If, if I have a case competition like this, I don't think I can, you know, as energetic as you guys. As I mentioned every single year, you know, uh, this is a competition. Of course, you will have someone to win. Of course, someone will not have a prize. But the most important thing, I think, hopefully, through these few days, you learn what is the importance about collaboration, how to work together as a team. You know, you have different strength, I, I hope. You know, when you come with a team of four persons, someone may be very good on typing, someone very good on analyzing and searching around and, and look for the information, and someone can really present well and put up the PowerPoint. And collaboration, I think, is very important in these days. When we start this CICC 13 years ago, the world was a little bit different from now. 13 years now, it's a lot more complicated. It's a lot more globalized. It's a lot more connected. If you don't work together, even countries, even jurisdictions, even governments, we cannot succeed. Because nowadays, collaboration, working together, is the one only way to go. Right? So I hope this is just the start of the beginning. Hopefully when you graduate from your school, I'm sure you will end up in a very good company because you are so bright. But remember today, uh, or these few days, you learn how to collaborate, you make some friends, you make some good networking uh, among all the students. And hopefully, when TTI want to hire some students from here, we will let you to go first. <laughs> we will come second. But really, thank you again. Uh, I would say this is a great honor for us to host together with HKUST. As uh, Professor Tan mentioned, uh, he is one of the founding members of this uh, great competition. And we really believe that this is the way to go for us. Our mission in city is to continue to enable growth and progress for the society. And we truly believe that if we can do that, we need talent like you. And you are the future of us. You are the future for the whole society. And I hope from today onwards, you can continue to learn, you can continue to shine, but don't forget, right? Once, maybe a few days in your lifetime, spend a few days in Hong Kong, learn TTI, great case, tough case, and, and make some friends along the way. So finally, I would like to thank you again for the judges. Very hard work, uh, tough work, uh, uh, really well deserved. I would like to give them a round of applause. I would like to thank uh, Frank and uh, Stefan. Without you, we don't have a case. As uh, Professor Tam mentioned, this is the center of the competition. And thank you very much. <laughs> of course, our partner, HKUST, thank you. Without you, without uh, all your support uh, along uh, these few years, we will not be able to make this happen. Thank you very much. So I hope we can finish uh, the dinner as early as possible. And then you can go to Langui Fong <laughs> or somewhere. I, I know you have a shuttle bus back to the campus, right? But some of you may leak out and then try to do something else. Uh, again, thank you very much. And great to meet you again. Thank you. Thank you, Weber. Please be seated. We now invite Mr. Stefan Podwell Group Executive Director and President of Strategic Planning from TTI to share his remarks with us. Stefan, please.
it really was a pleasure hosting such a young, dynamic, international team of uh, future business executives. I know I maybe not too much uh, mentioned the leadership development program we have at TTI, so I'd like to mention it one more time. Um, I mean, the room is uh, filled with a lot of very talented people, and the four uh, groups that we saw in the presentations today really did an outstanding job. And uh, I, was, I was highly impressed. And actually, before I came to the presentations today, I spoke to a couple of my colleagues, and they said exactly the same thing, uh, the ones that were sitting and, and working with you guys um, yesterday. They said that the teams were doing such an outstanding job um, and that we would love to receive some of your CVs. If you haven't uh, already um, received job offers, <laughs> clearly we are a very international company and there's a lot of opportunity within TTI, not only in Hong Kong, but, but globally. I'd also like to commend the uh, HKUST team for doing such an outstanding job in preparing the case study. Uh, TTI seems like an easy company. People know the brands. They know brands like Hoover and Ryobi and Milwaukee, but we're pretty complex. We serve a lot of different markets. We have a lot of different brands. We have very different customers, ranging from consumers, DIYers, industrial uh, applications, industrial users. And, and there's a lot of complexity behind what we do. So putting this case study together was really, really tough. And you know, we take it for granted. Uh, Frank and I sit and we meet with analysts all the time. We know the business really well. And, and for us, it's a given that, that you know, people understand what we do, but it, but it really is quite complex. Um, you know, we serve a lot of different markets, and like we said, it's a lot of, it's a lot of channels. Um, so it's tough, and the team really did a good job putting this together, and I, I know a lot of effort and work uh, went into it. Um, and so, well, once again, thank you for doing such an outstanding job there. Um, you know, on a, on a final note, um, you know, I think what you have to look at is not everyone is going to have the opportunity of, of, of winning the competition, but this is really, really close. Um, the results of, of all the teams, even, even, even uh, the ones that didn't make the last four, um, all of you did really an outstanding job, and I think you should feel very proud uh, with the presentations uh, that you put together and all the work that went, went behind this. Um, we do have a, uh, clearly the results have not yet been announced, but we do have a couple of gifts uh, for the uh, four final uh, uh, teams. Um, so uh, firstly, actually, we have a, a fabulous model who's going to come up on stage. Can you come up on stage, please? <clears throat> so all, see, I, see this, is, this is where I'm leaning a little bit strategic here. Remember the whole story about the network effect? So what I really want you to do is uh, be in the battery platform so clearly when you make your next tool purchase, uh, there's only one brand you're going to go for. So we have this fabulous uh, Milwaukee uh, heated jacket. So um, you can turn, you can adjust uh, the temperatures on the jacket, and you actually can adjust the uh, uh, pockets as well. So if you only want the pockets warm but you don't want the jacket warm, uh, so all four teams are going to get that. Um, the uh, winning team is going to receive uh, the uh, M12 uh, fuel uh, combo kit, and the uh, runner-up team is going to receive uh, just a drill. But all of you will, uh, all of the uh, four teams are going to receive the uh, receive the jacket. So we hope you. Uh... Now, we're not we're not going to actually give them to you tonight, though. And the reason why is uh, you, are, you live in different places and the plugs are going to be a little bit different. So we'll arrange to, to have, them, uh, have them sent to you. Um, but yeah, we thought this was good uh, brand advertising. I mean, we have the jacket in different colors, but you know, we're going to give you red. So we think it's uh, appropriate for, uh, for the brand support. So once again, Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the case study. Uh, we, we really had a great time. I enjoyed, I love making the presentation. The questions were outstanding. Um, I mean, I sit in a lot of analyst meetings and, and with people who studied the company for years, and, and your questions uh, were all excellent. So uh, Frank and I and, and the entire team at TTI were very, very impressed. Um, so you should all be very proud, and uh, thank you uh, for all your support. Uh, thank you, City, for hosting the event, and um, HKUST as well. Uh, thank you very much. And that was a good piece of advice. Lang Kwai Fong is a, a great location. 
Uh, so I wouldn't take the bus back home personally. I would probably choose to go to town and enjoy the uh, fabulous sights and sounds of Hong Kong. Just make sure you get home in one piece. Thank you. This year, the case topic is tooling up for Asia. The case requires a mix of creative marketing strategies as well as solutions to some key challenges. Thus, during the upcoming panel discussion, we'll hear from our judges and the finalists on the thoughts of the industry as well as on the case itself. We hope our guests can know more about the participating team's experience during these five days, and the audience can also gain knowledge and facts beyond what they've learned from the case. Would all four teams please send a representative to come on stage right now? We would also like to invite Professor Emily Nason, Associate Dean and Undergraduate Program Director of HKUSD Business School to be the facilitator of the panel discussion. From each of the finalist teams, and also yes. we have Stefan and Roger here. So for the benefit of the guests uh, from TTI and City and HKUSD who did not have a chance to, to see the, uh, uh, the presentations, maybe first I, I ask the question, uh, ask Stefan, um, so of the ideas that you see today, uh, from the four teams. Are there any particular interesting ideas that pack your interest, maybe something that you have thought about or maybe would consider for your company? I, we thought all the ideas were, were extremely interesting. Um, some obviously were, were things that we had thought of to some degree, but I think the amount of research that had gone into it, having the fresh uh, view, a new mindset, uh, a, a new generation, um, and also a totally diverse group of students come up with, with, with different ways to look at pro I mean, look, the problems are out there, or, or the challenges are out there. So we face these challenges, but, but we perhaps view them differently, and we have a different approach as, as to how we, we would, would tackle uh, such challenges. So I thought they were all excellent. I thought there was a lot of um, diversity between the, uh, the four teams, um, which, which we really enjoyed. And, you know, it does get you thinking. I mean, you, you, you look at the way uh, the, the, the challenges have been presented, and, and it, you do think of things in a different light. Maybe things are ways that we, we hadn't previously thought of before. So we, we, we thought it was very engaging, Frank and I. Okay, thanks. Maybe, Roger, can you add on uh, maybe feedback on the student team's presentation side or other aspects that uh, you find interesting as a judge? Uh, Okay, um, obviously all the students have uh, put a lot of effort in all the presentations, but uh, based on our observation, um, each of the teams has put focus on different areas. Some of them focus more on the presentation, trying to make an impact. Some of them focus more on the contents. But one thing um, I would like to advise every student is, whatever you recommend, to the audience, you have to have a strong belief on that and you have to be well prepared to have the evidence and support uh, arguments to, to address the questions by the audience. Yeah, that's my advice. So maybe let's hear from the finalists, okay? So I know that you're very nervous waiting for the result, but let's forget that for a moment, okay? Maybe uh, this is a five-day event, other than the competition, you know, the 22-hour preparation is hard. You also get to see a bit of Hong Kong, maybe, during the city excursion. What are some of the memorable uh, uh, experience that you can share with us, be it the preparation for the case or other aspect from the competition? Yeah, any one of you would like to share? Lady first. <laughs> well, okay. Actually, for the CICC 2015, uh, our team, the pressure of our team is zero because we don't, we don't expect, we expect nothing for the case competition. We want to enjoy this competition. And uh, for this competition, I think the biggest problem for our team is the language problem because none of us are native speakers. So we're really afraid of this problem and we practice a lot. And I think for the, all the er all efforts of our teams, I think we already done a good job. So. Uh, it's really uh, a memorable experience for us. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was nervous just now, and now it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I, I think it's a wonderfully organized event. In, in NTU, we have our own international case club, and it's uh, we have our own international competition, and this is wow, so much, <laughs> much better organized. <laughs> Uh, that's, not, that's not to say that our competition is not worth going to, uh, but yeah, the case itself was very well written. Um, the case company is an interesting company. We were very impressed with Stefan's presentation and we were like, how can we be like, 
so smooth in the presentation and everything. <laughs> yeah, but I felt that the most challenging task for us was really getting the, getting the data um, because we felt that in order to make a, a strong case, you need to have the supporting data. So we spent up to 16 hours, 15 hours crunching the data and we didn't really have the time to come up with like proper recommendations and all that. Yep, so this was our, our whole experience. Um, I think I'm a, bit, a little bit too honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thank you for the experience. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Before we turn the mic to the other two finalists, maybe Stefan, you want to share some uh, advice? How do you develop such charming presentation skills that you have? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now you're flattering me. I'm feeling a little shy now. Um, well, look, I think, uh, just to, to make a, a brief comment, the, the, all four teams did an outstanding job with, uh, outstanding job with the presentation. Uh, the presentation skills were, were excellent today. Um, I'm sure all the teams in this room um, also have excellent presentation skills. Uh, I, it's just practice, right? You, you, you do it time and time again. Join and more case competitions? Yeah, join more <laughs> case competitions. Uh, you know, you, you study the material beforehand. It does help when you kind of know your business too, right? Uh, and uh, you, you get used to a certain flow, you understand the product, and it's, it's all about familiarity. If you get used to, uh, um, to, to what you're presenting or, or, or the general theme, or you have a, a good background knowledge, it really helps. And, and what was impressive today was that in our industry, there's really not a lot of information out there. It's closely guarded. There's not a lot of competition. Uh, there's ourselves, there's Makita, there's Stanley Black & Decker, there's Bosch, but there's really not a lot of competition. So if you do research and you want to find out about the power tool industry, there's, there's not much out there. Um, so, so the teams obviously came extremely well prepared. Uh, the research you did was, was excellent. Um, and, and of course, look, are you going to come up with uh, extremely accurate data? No. no. Uh, are we going to uh, let the entire world know what, what the, the, the exact landscape of the market looks like? Of course, a lot of it's proprietary too. We don't want to share it with our, comp with our competitors. So, so a lot of this is really closely guarded. But you know, given the amount of information that was actually available out there, uh, the team did an excellent job. I mean, I, I perhaps take it for granted the fact that I know our business relatively well. It's, it's, it's easy for me to rattle on about tools. Um, but the, but you know, for, for the teams, which I thought, what I thought was really interesting and, and really good too, was that the, the, the teams are so diverse. Uh, clearly teams from uh, the, the Western European and North American markets are familiar with our products. The, the Asian teams are, are less familiar with our products but the Asian teams are more familiar with the market. So I think everybody had a certain amount of advantage and disadvantage, which I think made the playing field pretty, pretty even. Yes. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, once again, highly impressed. And, and like I said, it's, it's all about practice, right? You get, you get used to uh, the context and the situation, and you have a lot of familiarity, and that creates confidence in terms of what, you, what you're presenting. Okay, thanks for the tips. So let's hear, what's the experience from uh, the Queen's team and then the Korea University team? Well, it's my first time in Hong Kong, so I really enjoyed it. Uh, first time outside, uh, or first time in Eastern, East Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely very impressed uh, with the city, went out a little uh, with the <laughs> to the ladies' market with the three girls, so it was a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you bargain to buy anything? I did not, but I observed that. Okay. It, was, it was interesting. Uh, I enjoyed the case a lot. It was very, uh, very interesting. There was a lot of information, a lot of data. Uh, it was definitely something uh, I, I truly enjoyed doing. Uh, I thought the competition was very well organized. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, every aspect of it. All right, thanks. And Korea team? And we also enjoyed the whole process, not just the competition. We thought uh, we had we were able to go to different parts of Hong Kong due to our team buddy. She was so kind about showing us different places. And in terms of the competition, it was really tough, I guess. And I, we like the atmosphere because we knew that a lot of competitive like, schools are in next room studying and we were frustrating. And we, so we liked the whole process as well. Okay. All right. So I think I should better uh, close this panel discussion right now so we can move on to know the results. Thank you, all the 18 participating teams. Let's give all the teams a big hand. Thank you.
Thank you, panel members and the finalist uh, representatives for such an inspiring dialogue. Please be seated. Darren, are you excited to know the result this year? Yes, Brittany, I'm very excited. And I believe we can't keep all the teams waiting for any longer. So here we go. It's time to announce the winners of this year's competition. If you guys recall, right before the ceremony, the audience have casted the votes on the best presenter from their perspectives. Well, as we all know, to excel as a good presenter, one must possess the combination of passion, energy, vision, knowledge, as well as the ability to communicate effectively. So anyways, Brittany, do you have the result on your hand right now? Yes, I do. Now may I invite Professor Nason to come on stage to announce the Best Presenter People's Choice Award of the competition. So the Best Presenter People's Choice Award of the City HKUSD International Case Competition 2015 is from Team 1, Mr. Amit Ani Kumar. Thank you, Emily. Please be seated. Will you please now have Professor Tam Kai Yan to come on stage and announce the second runner-up of the competition. Professor Tam, please. So, the second runner-up of the City HKUST International Case Competition 2015 is... Korea University. Will the team and the faculty advisor please come onto the stage to receive the reward? Thank you. Congratulations again, Korea University. And thank you, Professor Tan. Please be seated. May I now invite Stefan on stage again and announce the first runner-up of the City HKST International Case Competition for us. Thank you. So, the first runner-up of the City HKST International Case Competition 2015 is... Drum roll. <laughs> Queen's University. Will the team and the faculty at Pfizer please come onto the stage to receive the award? Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Please be seated. May I now invite Weber on stage again to announce the champion team of the competition for us. Weber, please. So one 
<laughs> the champion of the City HKUSD International Case Competition 2015 is. Wow, quite long. Oh, Nanyang Technological University. Thank you, Weber. Please be seated. With the, wait, a wait, wait a while. Will the champion team and the faculty advisor please remain on stage, please? <laughs> and share a few words with us about their learning journey, journey throughout this competition. Um, once again, all of us are really nervous. <laughs> Um, this is the first time NTU is invited to HKUST. It's an immense pleasure. It's a very well-run competition, very prestigious competition, and we're very grateful to have been invited. And we are extremely humbled to have um, done well in this competition. And yes, thank you so much, um, everyone, for this experience. Yeah, for me, I think it was a very interesting experience understanding the tool industry and I think we still don't really understand it though because the inf <laughs> information is not really available. And Hong Kong is really a nice place and we hope to be here again next year. Uh, just to share something with everyone, like we tried to read the uh, poster that they gave us on the welcome day because it was a similar picture but we all thought there was a, it was on the toys market so we actually went to... Uh, toy stores to understand what are the toys available in Hong Kong <laughs> and we look at so much of Gundam toys and <laughs> it was a good understanding of toys market for a while. <laughs> so when we got a case, we, we were quite surprised and <laughs> it was an interesting industry to learn as well. <laughs> Congratulations again team. Please be seated. Thank you. So Brittany, besides our prestigious judges from our final round, we we'll also a very dedicated judging panel that contributed the full day yesterday at HKUST for the division and challenge round. Mm -hmm. They are Mr. David Butts, Ms. Constance Chu, Mr. Nate Easter, Mr. Christopher Joseph, Mr. Joseph Koch, Ms. Chloe Lun, Mr. Michael Pollan, Mr. Yuan Vanderberg, and Ms. Lian Wong. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank all our judges' efforts in making City HKUST International Case Competition 2015 a great success this year. And of course, without the great support of the TTI, we would never be able to make the CICC happen. May I now please invite Weber and Professor Tam on stage to present the souvenirs for Stefan and uh, Frank. To echo our case theme this year, Tooling Out for Asia, you could see later we have developed our theme design with the different kinds of tools in the model kit concept. In presenting these souvenirs to Stefan and Frank, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to explore the exciting world of powerful tools and equipment, but also thank you for your generous support and effort to equip us to be better prepared for the future. Thank you. <laughs> 